Question 50. Uh, I've drawn just the top view. We have a proton that is moving at some velocity v at an angle with uh, the y-axis, and we have a magnetic field that is directed directly along that y-axis, and this would be the z-direction. Now, we get to use the right-hand rule. We're trying to figure out the, the, the shape of the path of the particle. We take our fingers, we point them in the direction of the velocity, we curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, which is just a little bit, looks like this, and our thumb points out of the board or out of the page, which means there is a magnetic force on this particle at this time in the positive z direction, which means this proton is going to accelerate in the positive z direction. Now, it's going to continue to have a constant velocity in the y direction, but let's see what happens because of this acceleration in the z direction, positive z direction, which is going to cause a velocity in the positive z direction. So let's look at the magnetic force caused by moving uh, in the positive z direction. So this charge is now moving also just that component in the positive z direction. We also then, we can point our fingers in the direction of that component of the velocity, curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and our thumb points uh, in this direction, which is the negative x direction which means that this proton is actually going to be moving in a circle because this force is actually going to be in the in direction. So it's going to move in a circle like this while it's continuing to move at a constant velocity in the y direction, which means it's actually going to look something like this. It's going to go in some sort of helical path around the y-axis. So the correct answer is D, a helical path with its axis parallel to the y-axis.